I don't remember if this had already happened the last third party viewer meeting, but um, we had a viewer rollback for viewer 519. Um, what that means right now is our master branch has that uh, has those commits currently reverted, um, and Dirt Viewer 519 is back in development. Um, it'll be coming out as an updated RC <laughs> once we get that through QA. Um, so our next promotion will probably be either uh, you know this this update to 519, the the simplified cache, or um, the key mappings viewer. Um, we also have the Love Me Render number five in RC. That's a bunch of bug fixes, um, but that one has enough of an increase in crash rate that we've been worried about trying to promote it, and we're currently working on trying to get some of those crashes knocked down. I think that may be it for updates. Uh, let's see. Any anybody else uh, have anything, right, or any comment on latest doings in Serverland? Um, nothing. Nothing big. We made some changes to agent arrival. Um, should be going. Uh, should be on all the RCs now. Uh, so go sailing. See if see if things work. Um, oh. the, uh, let's see, that's, that's the only, that's the only big one. What kind of effects might people see from that? Uh, the, the real effects I'm predicting we'll see in, uh, in cases where, oh, I don't know, someone, someone, uh, opens up their region and offers a free mesh head. Uh, hopefully this will alleviate some of the uh, some of the, the lag we see on the ser uh, on the server as people try and arrive and are ejected. That's the that that that's what I was targeting with this. So. Okay, cool. I've I've got I've gotten uh, anecdotal reports also. Uh, so keep the fingers crossed. You get three anecdotes, you can trade it in for one data. <laughs> I like that exchange rate. Yeah, there there are some people who seem to be able to no, notice uh, microsecond changes. So yeah, maybe instead of having a metric system, we should just hire human canaries to sense when things get better or worse. All right. Well, I think that's all I got. Uh, Tom, are you good? Do you want to say anything about uh, latest doings and graphics? Uh, I've just been looking into Moon Haze and reordering some of the rendering. It's bugging out.
Um, yeah, Love Me Under 5 has just got a couple crash bugs that we're looking at um, right now. Uh, they're all centered around Intel drivers. and um, So we're trying to see what there is to tweak there to bring that right down. And Love Me Under 6 is just queued up behind that with a few fixes, just really getting started on um, and the UI work, I think I talked about a week or two ago, is uh, just a little bit on hold as we do a little more bug fixing, um, trying to convert that from a proof of concept into an actual product here. Yeah, we were wondering if the time zone was throwing people off. I guess different countries are changing at different times. That makes it kind of hard to keep track. Uh, the simplified cache viewer is the one that replaces the VFS with a uh, uh, kind of a per uh, a per a separate kind of per asset uh, you know one file per asset cache, um, which is kind of where the simplification comes in. That's that's the one that we promoted. Um, couple weeks back and then had to roll back because of some issues that uh, were covered kind of process after it was already out. What are you guys up to? Anything new and exciting in development land?
Well, that's interesting, Willie. Really. Is that a new crash? I, it it looks like it's in code that we've had for ages, so I'm curious uh, why we'd be seeing it now. Oh, I wonder if there's particular content that's triggering it or something. Yeah. Uh, well, you said uh, Sarah was looking at it. We don't have any particular insights into what's going on yet. Yeah, Nikki, I agree. I, I also hope for no uh, no more rollbacks. Um, it's a it's a pain all around. Uh, we do. It did force us to get our process a little more planned out for kind of how we want to address that sort of thing in the future, but we'd much prefer not to do it at all. Yeah, load you looks like it's just calling some SSE instructions to copy stuff, so uh it makes you wonder if you know something's something's out of bounds, misaligned data or something that's already been deleted or whatever. Yeah, it looks to be sixteen bound, so that's I don't think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, unless uh yeah, unless there was just something squirrely about the data that was being passed to it. Yeah, that's a lot. Kind of suspect the data structure just got corrupted somehow. So at the time that that call is happening, the uh, you know, addresses are all screwed up. Because, I mean, the operation itself is pretty much trivial. Yeah, it's just doing a mem copy, it looks like.
All right. Well, anything else you want to chat about this week? I'm happy to let everybody go early if uh, there's nothing else going on and we can get back to whatever we're working on or pretend it's the weekend already, whichever. All right, well, have a good weekend, everybody. Thanks for coming, and we'll talk to you in uh, a couple more weeks.